What I would say to HBCU students, alumni, Greeks, my Alpha brothers, uh, my AKA sisters, is to roll up a sleeve. Um, I need your help, we need your help. There are people who are suffering uh, from sickle cell just like me, and by giving blood, by rolling up a sleeve, you help all of us out. We're a family and we're joined by blood. Going to HBCU, it makes you hold yourself accountable each and every day because for one, you wanna make sure that you're making your family proud. Like we don't do anything that's less than 100%, you know, or we don't do anything that's less than excellence. So that's pretty much what the HBCU community means to me. To date, I've had over 3,000 units of blood transfused. And so this time kind of just woke me up and I didn't really understand how people with sickle cell dealt with being in the hospital. I could really just say it's like being in a, a cage. I haven't had the, the uh, typical journey with sickle cell, but I think some, some of what I've done and some of what um, I've accomplished over the years can help somebody else journey. This last time when I was in the hospital, um, I didn't have a blood transfusion for about two months. Um, just due to me moving to Memphis and adjusting to work and kind of getting accustomed to my new schedule. So when I finally had that blood transfusion, it definitely made me feel more energized. I mean, it definitely made me feel a lot better. I could tell in my body it, I was, it was kind of like a little sluggish, like my back would start hurting a little bit. Um, arms would kind of be a little weak, but after this blood transfusion, recently I haven't had any problems. To see Christopher experience challenges with sickle cell, so to see it firsthand is a challenge. To see the person you love in pain, um, really nothing that you can do but kind of just be there for support. Um, it's challenging, but every single thing that I've seen him go through every challenge with sickle cell, I've also seen him overcome it. So um, that's just a testament to the type of person he is. So what I would say to those who give blood for us uh, sickle cell warriors to get blood wherever or whenever we need it is thank you. Um, we really appreciate you um, and you pretty much are our family. Uh, you help my family by keeping me alive through giving blood. Um, I think every drop of blood that you give helps me and it helps my family, my friends. So you are part of our extended family. We appreciate you and we love you. So thank you. God bless you, Chris.